as governor, I like to talk about this and, and the things that we say. We don't just rank near the top on educational attainment. We rank near the top on, on personal incomes, on home ownership, on life expectancies, things that make this. Uh, and one that came out a while back, we, uh, we rank second in a survey of the 50 states, second uh, in happiness behind Hawaii. But if you take a deeper look and peel it back, which this week has peeled back, all of those statistics are true if you're white. If you're not, we rank near the bottom. And what this week is showing all of us is those two things can't operate at the same place. You cannot continue to say you're a great place to live if your neighbor, because of the color of their skin, doesn't have that same opportunity. And that will man itself in things that are the small hidden racisms. It'll manifest itself in a child of color not getting the same opportunities or a black community not being able to acquire wealth through home ownership because of lending practices. And as we all said last week, the ultimate end of that type of behavior is the ability to believe that you can murder a black man in public and it is an unusual thing that murder charges were brought days later. So what I'd like to say, and again, I want to thank everyone who participated in our ability to restore trust to our streets. It was incredibly complex. It was incredibly difficult. Um, but that simply gets us back to a place that we were before. And that place is not good enough. That place is not one that will get us the solutions.